Hey, welcome back once again. Hardcore Kick Confirm with my two buddies, Guggenheim and Hajmat. Oh, yeah, party time once again. This time, Raj Standoff once again. Hardcore Kick Confirm. Oh, yeah, as you can. Oh, look at that. Fuck. Man, they don't fool around when it comes to camping. Okay, once again, uh, I'm uh, using the AN94 with the Cyborg Camel. Looks pretty cool. I'll take it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I use the same attachments in this game. Okay, let's see that camper still there. Yeah, same attachments there because I. Oh, look at that. Fuck you. Oh, uh, look at that. Got me a cuff shoes. I think I got a new camel now. Oh, serve me some camping justice. Boom, put that there. Huh, interesting delay. Okay. Hmm. Eh, whatever. Job out there. Yeah, claymores are, uh, I don't know, uh. Can't get away with them as much there than, uh. Black Ops 2, uh, the more, more viable in Black Ops 1. But then again, Hogwarts kill confirms there's more people running around, so that's probably why, uh, not working out too much for me. Okay, Guggenheim sees that camper. What does he do? He takes him out. Tall, skinny white guy. <laughs> nice name. Okay. Oh, well, that's okay. I left him a surprise. Guggenheim cleaning house. He does. Okay, here we go. I'm making my rounds. Okay, uh. I guess I should talk about stuff. Oh man, the uh, weather, obviously, well, obviously summer's here. It's getting warmer out. And, oh man, it's affecting my sleep. Ugh. Lately, ugh, it's been a rough week. Like, uh, lately, oh my god, like the past four days, I've been sleeping no more than six hours. And it fucks me up. Like, me, uh, I don't know, like, in order to function properly, I need at least a minimum seven. Anything less than seven on a daily basis, oh yeah, it fucks me up, man. Oh yeah, I need to, uh, need some structure. Oh, look at that. Fuck yeah, man. Uh, yeah, but, uh, last night, well, actually it's very good. Uh, I woke up at 12.45 p.m. And that's largely due, uh, yeah, last night I decided to take a different approach or I slept on the couch in the living room. Yeah, because, uh, well, uh, live in the, uh, well, you know, well, uh, it's sort of a small house here, uh, basically there's two floors, uh, you got the living room, and, uh, there's an upstairs. And, uh, upstairs, that's where I do, uh, all my commentary, in case anyone's curious. Yep, my office is upstairs. All of it, man. Yep. There's probably anything in the living room, just my, uh... Four-inch TV. Yeah, well, gee, I'm just curious. I ain't calling myself chopper. Boom, done. Okay, yeah. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I decided. Okay, uh, fuck it, man. You sleep on a couch. Yeah, because it's a lot cooler downstairs. Because upstairs in my bedroom, oh my god, like on a hot day, it's more than plus thirty in my bedroom, man. Since I don't have AC, holy fuck, man. Oh, I sweat easily. Like, uh, for the past three days, I've actually, uh, yeah, I've been, uh, pretty much been shirtless. Yep. Yeah, I was topless. I even did my commentary topless. Yep, did that too. Uh, oh, fuck. Yeah, so, uh, it's pretty much living the life of, uh, Randy from Trail Park Boys. Well, mine is gut, of course. <laughs> oh, he's got one hell of a gut. Fuck. Let's check him out. <laughs> Good for that. Oh, his gut has too many moments. Not like this clown came. Okay, I think someone's chasing me, so I planned for Claymore. I was going to come in prepared. Okay, let's see if that camper's still there. Negative. Hmm. I'll get rid of that guy. Oh, 
I'm gonna turn around. Oh, look at you, tall, skinny, white guy. Oh man, where to earn your kill? <sighs> Douche. Doesn't get any easier than that, folks. Oh yeah, fuck, it's been really hot outside there. Oh man, I sleep way better when it's cooler out. Like uh, me, in order to get uh, good night's sleep. Oh man, like ah, uh, I need. Uh, yeah, I need the weather to be ooh, like no more than ooh, I'd say plus twelve overnight. Like any for anything more than plus twelve, and oh man, it fucks me over, man. Yeah, if I can get eight hours sleep or more, I'll take it, man. Oh yeah, I love my sleep. Sleep's very valuable. Oh, yeah, I think I've rambled enough about that there, so I should talk about Loader Dan. Yeah, Loader Dan. He's gone, folks. Yep, he's gone. Quit. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, Goog. <laughs> Sean Max in there. Uh, yeah, what happened is, well, he took a job elsewhere. Well, obviously, with better company. And, well, a son of a bitch, he's probably going to be making 30 bucks an hour. So. You bastard. Well, good news is he's gone. I don't have to deal with him anymore. Yeah, um, I don't know. Like, my relationship with him was okay. Uh, well, we did have some positive moments. Uh, yeah, because uh, we were hanging out there in. Uh, yeah, because uh, we had a mutual friend. And oh my god, this guy, he, oh fuck, yeah. He has hardcore pornography. On his laptop, holy shit, his laptop is super dirty. So, uh, anyways, he calls me over, he wanted me, uh, oh yeah, that's the uh, shovel operator, by the way. Yeah, uh, he calls me over, he wants me to do a bit of maintenance on his computer. And, uh, yeah, so I'm like, okay, sure, why not? I took a look at his uh, computer really quick, and holy fuck, man, was it dirty. Both stacked with porn and, I don't know, just poorly maintained. So anyways, uh, after I clean up his uh, his laptop, oh boy, I, like that, the whole thing, oh my god, his laptop was so dirty, it took me almost half an hour. Yeah, so anyways, uh, yeah, he showed me this porn, and uh, Lord Dane just happens to be in the area, and uh, next thing you know, we uh, started making sex jokes, and well, there you go, so that was our moment. Uh, yeah, well, that's pretty much it there, everything else was... Mm -hmm. Up and down, but uh, no, like personally, I don't hate the guy there. But at the same time, uh, I don't like him too much, and I barely respect him. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, just uh, just two different people, you know. He's a Frenchie. I'm an English guy. <laughs> yeah, he mostly speaks French. Or, uh, yeah, I don't know, my French knows because he used to be there. And, uh, our word truck guy, oh my god, he hated him. He fucking hated him. Like, he would tell me, uh, every time you would see him, he said, Oh, I swear to God, Cap, one of these days, I gotta fucking punch him out. You just watch it. If he touches me, I gotta knock him out. And I, and I pretty much straight up told him, I said, Okay, if I knock him out, I'm not even gonna stop him. So, do what you gotta do. If he provokes you, well, there you go. I guess he deserves it. Yep, so, uh, that was where we stand. Yeah, me and water truck guy. We came to Loader Dan. Oh, yeah, by the way, on his, uh, last day at work, he did not say, uh, he did not say goodbye to me, didn't shake my hand, did not acknowledge me, nothing. He could have. Yeah, because he was hanging out in, uh, the Pegged Truck pretty much all day, you know, just dog fucking. The foreman. While uh, the other little guy did all the work. And uh, half the time, I didn't even know he was in there because uh, well, you know, his window was closed. And uh, well, you know, it's pretty dark, I can't see fuck all. And, well, you know, I'm more positive they had the AC going, so uh, hey, fuck. Like, I didn't know. Well, besides, I was too focused, I was doing my own thing. Uh, look at me getting a fear kill. Fuck yeah, man. Fast and furious, boom! So yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye-bye, Dan. Gone.
Okay, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Look at me, top dog. Hell yeah. 